Okay, welcome back to another video of the Bootstrap development course. So, we have been building the DevScorch 3 website. It looks pretty, pretty nice, pretty cool. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start with our fourth container, and that is the Scorches container. And first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new container. So on line 91, we're gonna do div class of fourth container. We're gonna close this. We're gonna give this a div class of row. Close it. And in here, we're gonna create, I think a column 12. So div, oh, div class of call-sm12, call-md12, call-lg12, xl-12 close this okay and also we're gonna give this row no I don't think we need that in the CSS on the fourth container we're gonna call dot fourth container and we're gonna give this the same um, the same margins as always so we're gonna give this margin dash left of auto margin dash right of auto and we're going to give this a max width of 2000 pixels pretty cool okay so on the design we need we need like maybe an h2 or an h3 and a p so what we're going to do in here we're going to call h1 of class and we're going to call this scorch dash h1 close it and under there we're going to give this a p of class scorch dash p close it so the first one is going to be four scorches with unlimited possibilities and the second one it's gonna be, I think it must be more to come, yeah. Okay, back to the code editor. And more to come, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so when we save this, you're gonna see that it's like stacked on, a, on the top of each other and we don't need that because we want them on the side. So what we're gonna do, on the fourth container, we're gonna call dot scorch h1, and under there, we're gonna call scorch.p and we're gonna give this a display of inline and we're gonna let's make some space. We're gonna give this a display of inline. We're gonna give the scorch h1, we're gonna give it the color of white. And I see that we took the h1 and we need the h3, so we're gonna change the scorch class. And we're gonna change h1 to h3. Okay. Go back to index.css and we're gonna give the scorch p also a color of white. No, that's not true. We're not gonna give the color of white because we're gonna give the color of light gray. Mm, I think we're gonna take the text card color. Let's see how that looks. Paste it in. Save it. Save it. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that's green, huh? And we don't need green. I think this is a mistake I made. Okay, I'm gonna check in the designs which color it is. B1, B1, B1. Okay, so we go back to our class here. Change the color to capital B1, capital B1, capital B1. Let's see if that looks better. This looks, this looks a lot better. And we're gonna give this some spacing on the top. So we're gonna call the fourth container. No, we're actually gonna give the row also a separate row. So we're gonna call this scorch-row. And under the fourth container, above scorch, we're gonna call dot scorch row. And we're gonna give this a margin dash top of 30 pixels. Let's see how this looks. Okay. 
pretty pretty cool <laughs> so as you can see this is not really aligned with this and instead of uh, using margins we're actually gonna change the column from MD12 or from LG12 to LG6 okay and under that we're gonna create an empty column so div class of call dash SM-12 call dash MD-12 call dash LG-6 call dash XL-6 and the reason why we create an empty column is so that we can fill up a little bit of the information and theoretically this should align it Oh, wait a second, of course. I understand. Mm, what we're going to do, inside the column, we're going to create div class. And we're going to give this a separate, um, so just its own div. So we're going to call this um, Scorch Intro. Close this. And we're going to copy-paste this one. And we're going to paste it inside the Scorch Intro. One, two, yeah, save it. And on the scorch row, we're gonna call dot scorch intro. And we're gonna give this a margin dash left of auto. And we're gonna give this a margin dash right of auto. And let's see what happens. Oh, there's something going wrong there. Wait a second. Ah, I already see it. So. Perfect. And it still isn't... Still not sent. Ah, we didn't give it a width. That is the problem. Um, we're gonna give the scorch intro maybe a width of 500 pixels. Let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see now, this is under here. We don't need that, so we're gonna um, we're gonna give this a width of 600 maybe. Now we're gonna give this a width of 500, and we're gonna make the text. On the H3, we're going to change this to H4. Save it. Okay, perfect. And maybe we're going to make the width a little bit bigger. Or we just make the piece text smaller. So the Scorch P, we're going to give this a font size of maybe 14 pixels. Let's see how this looks. Maybe 12. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. Maybe if you give this a bit of 520. Because the problem is, now it's gonna jump to that one and that's not what we want because we want it nice and centered in the middle. So for now, I think if we just do dot and more dot dot dot, save this. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, this looks also really nice. But we're gonna change the width back to 500. And actually, we can change it to 600. But we have to give the other. We have to give the other classes also 600. And maybe we're gonna do that later. And we're gonna give this some space. So we're gonna call the um, we're gonna call we're gonna give the fourth container. We're gonna give this a background color first. So background color, and we're gonna take it's not in here yet. So I'm gonna paste it in there. We're gonna take one six one six one eight. That's gonna be the the color. So one six one six one eight, save it. Cool. Okay, 
cool, that's better. And we're gonna give the Scorch intro. Margin dash top of maybe 80 pixels. Let's see how this looks. Perfect. Okay, so the, we now we created uh, the Scorch row with the information that we wanted to display. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And in the next video, we're actually going to build the cards. So let's first create the, um, the row in here. Div class of a row. Now we're going to call this card-row. And inside here, we're going to create the um, div class columns. So we need four cards. So we're going to do column of three. So call-sn-12, call-md-3 call dash md dash three call dash md oh sorry that has to be lg lg dash three call dash xl dash three close it and we're going to copy this one four times okay so we created a small template for the next video and in the next video we actually we're actually going to build the cards so I hope you learned a little bit in this video. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next video.